All right, we're going to go ahead and log in and change the DNS settings one on one because um, they can be a little tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And waiting, waiting, waiting. Mine's going to be a slightly different um, than yours. It's going to have a bunch of contracts. So um, make believe you're not seeing any of that. All right, so you should only have one contract. All right. All right get rid of that junk. All right, and one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, dead gummit. I'm going to go ahead and manage domains. So I'm going to come in here and manage my domains. And again, I'm going to have a lot more stuff than you will have because I, I'm, I buy a bunch of these things. So you can see that CPT 114 online is the one I just purchased. So let's see. Let me go ahead and click on that. All right, so I want to change the DNS settings. And you can see there's nothing here for that because they hit it. And you have to go into these advanced settings to find it. I don't know why they, I, I know why they hit it. They don't want you changing it. So let's go ahead and change it. All right, it's going to say, hey, if you don't know what you're doing, you better get out of here. So I'm going to check this. And, well, I'm going to leave this on so I can make other videos. And I'm going to continue. Yes, I know what I'm doing. They know that if regular people go in there and don't know what they're doing, can hose up their domain name and then have to call them up for help. So that's why, that might be why they um, don't allow you to go ahead and change it. All right, let me scroll down here. Okay, a couple of things you want to do. You can see that I have my auto renewal on. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and click disable. And then going to scare me again because they don't want me turning off the automatic. So it's going to come up and ask me why am I canceling canceling my domain name? And I'm going, wait a minute, I'm not canceling it. I'm just want to don't want you to automatically. Um, fix it. So it's going to say, uh oh, you're in trouble if you do this. And we're going to say we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to disable my auto renew. And now they're going to come up and say, well, why are you canceling it? But I'm not canceling it. So I'm going to say, this is what I would do. I would do um, uh, I'm closing my business. This even or One of these first two probably good. Then you won't get phone calls uh, from people going, oh, let me help you. Uh, do it. Okay, so it's telling me that that has been updated. Okay, good. Good. Now let me add this. Okay, I didn't do anything. It just took it took a while for it to finally get back to the screen. <sighs> what a pain in the neck. All right, all I want to do is move this over so I can get to the scroll bar. And it keeps doing this, so I'll move down first. And then I'll resize it and make that work. All right, so you can see, now remember, here's my DNS settings, and I want to go ahead and edit them. So I'm going to go ahead and edit them. Let's see, move this over a little bit. Get rid of this. All right, so this is where the my old video worked. So I want to change my setting because I don't want it to their DNS. I want to send it to free Hostia. So the first thing I'm going to do is send this, change this bubble to other name servers, then type DNS one dot free Hostia dot com, making sure that's right. And then additional name servers, I got to change this to my secondary name servers. And this is DNS two dot free hostia dot com. All right. And then I have to go down here and hit the save button. Don't hit that or you're gonna change everything back to the way it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. It was says, Are you sure you know what you're doing? And I say yes. I know what I'm doing. And 
they've been successful, so now I can go hit X. And we're good to go. Okay, so I can check it by hitting that down arrow. I come in here and see that I have my DNS1, DNS2. So everything's good. Now, when I, it's going to take a couple of days for this to propagate through the internet before Freehostia uh, sees that when someone types in your domain name, it goes to Freehostia instead of one and one So uh, usually within 48 hours, it, it should work with Freehostia, no problem. All right, that's it.